Everybody loves to see some karma in action, but sadly, in real life, it's all too rare. Luckily, you don't have to wait for the universe to deliver up some instant justice. I've already done it for you. So just sit back, relax, and get ready for some super satisfying tales of karma giving bad people the punishment they deserve. Amazing. A drink with a stink. When police in Laverton, Australia were called to a crime scene in 2016, it was immediately obvious that the criminals had already been duly punished. A tour bus driver had returned to his vehicle, noticing what seemed to be a fuel cap on the ground, evidence that people had tried to siphon his gas. Typically, fuel thieves will remove the cap, attach a hose to the fuel port and suck to get the fuel flowing on a heist like this. Only on closer inspection, the bus driver discovered that the actual fuel cap was still firmly in place. He was dumbstruck to find, instead, that the cap on the ground had been removed from the bus's sewage tank, and there was a literal spattering of evidence on the ground that, in a short-lived effort, the perpetrators had attempted to suck fuel and instead sucked stool. The officer spotted the signs of a quick getaway after the shameful realization. Needless to say, the police had very little interest in recovering those stolen goods. Karma, you nasty. Double fly tipping. When a farmer in the UK grew tired of fly tippers dumping their trash on his land, he took to patrolling the vicinity at night to catch them in the act. He was successful and confronted a couple of white van men intruding on his property in April 2019, but wrestling one of them to the ground wasn't enough. The farmer had brought a friend along. That friend happened to be driving a digger and wasted no time ramming into the junk-laden van and tipping it over. As this farmer proved, the only way to deal with fly tippers is to tip them right back. Home Sweet Home Confinement Occasionally, the punishment fits the crime in the most delightful ways. This was exactly the case for a Kansas man named Lawrence Ripple, who robbed a bank in 2017. After the bank teller handed over the cash during the robbery, Lawrence waited politely in the lobby for the police to arrive and put up little resistance when they did. Only when the police interviewed the robber's wife did they find out why he'd been so cooperative. It turned out Lawrence had revealed his crime plans to his wife, telling her he'd rather be in jail than at home with her. The whole fiasco had been an attempt to get away from his wife, and once he'd been put through the court system, karma had been truly served. His sentence? Six months house arrest. Plenty of time to make it up to his beloved wife. Not on my land. When a Redditor moved into a new house, they disliked the fact that their kitchen window looked straight into their neighbor's kitchen. Seeking some privacy, they laid down a load of plants so the view would be obscured. It was costly, but it seemed worth it. The next day, they awoke to find that their neighbor had chopped down all of the plants, and when confronted, he claimed they'd been planted on his property line. Not wanting to cause trouble with the new neighbors, the Redditor stayed quiet and laid down some new plants, but closer to their own home this time. There was no way these could be on the neighbor's property line, but the neighbor cut them down again with the same claim. That was the last straw. The Redditor called a professional to assess the property line and found that not only was the neighbor in the wrong, his fence was massively encroaching on the Redditor's property. Long story short, the neighbor lost a quarter of his backyard and had to pay $10,000 for the destruction of property. This time, the plant stayed planted. Cementing your fate. Some people seem to think that owning a sports car elevates them above the rules of the road the rest of us have to follow. But thankfully, the rules of physics don't make exceptions for jerks with more money than brains. Nowhere is this better exemplified than in the countless cases of arrogant rule breakers getting stuck in wet cement while trying to beat the game. These cases are ridiculously common and extremely satisfying to behold. There's nothing like cement to really put someone in their place and keep them there. Karma's Faithful Whip it's often the case that those who rally the hardest against a certain cause end up being secret perpetrators of that very thing themselves. But rarely is the punishment for this type of hypocrisy as perfect as the case of an Indonesian man named Muklis in October 2019. Muklis was part of a council that drafted laws into existence in the Aka region of Sumatra Island, whereby anyone guilty of adultery would receive a painful, humiliating public whipping. Not long after Muklis assisted in the law's passing was he caught, quite literally, with his pants down, with a married woman. The adulterous pair were brought in front of a crowd and caned 51 times between them. While the law is certainly barbaric, the lesson rings true. Practice what you preach, especially if you're practicing on another man's wife. Heist of the Century 
When an Irish fellow went to visit his father's grave in 2017, the last thing he was expecting at the cemetery was hilarity. But when he stumbled across a truly bizarre crime scene, that's exactly what he got. The cemetery was home to a fake brick cladded building with a heavy door, and the visitor was surprised to find that, overnight, someone had cut a hole in the side. Slowly, all became clear. Someone had seen the building, and finding it locked, assumed it to be a crypt filled with family valuables. So they'd taken a considerable amount of time to hack their way in. First, they'd tried and failed to cut the locks. Then they unsuccessfully attempted to tear the roof off. And finally, they succeeded by arduously cutting through the wall. Only what they found inside wasn't priceless antique heirlooms. It was a toilet. It's a toilet. <laughs> they'd broken into a cemetery bathroom. Stick to bank vaults next time, maybe, guys. Karma will catch up with you. Sometimes those who accumulate bad karma are able to redeem themselves. That's exactly what happened in August 2019 when a self-proclaimed awful person in the heat of out-of-character rebellion stole a bottle of ketchup from a restaurant. No one was any the wiser until the restaurant servers found a note left there a few weeks later. The note confessed to the heinous crime and detailed how, ever since the act was committed, the thief had been plagued with exceptional bad luck. Hours after stealing the ketchup, someone crashed into their car and countless other disasters followed. So by providing the restaurant with a ketchup bottle, plus an extra one for good measure, they hoped they'd be able to rebalance the karmic scales. It worked. The note was shared online and went viral. Within a few days, Heinz's official Twitter account had caught wind of the story and launched a search for the ketchup thief. But once they found them, they not only publicly forgave them, they also helped pay for the repairs to the good-natured thief's car. Now that's the kind of good PR I can get behind. And all in the name of ketchupy karma. Drop like a brick. Sometimes karma is the best deterrent of all. And if the thief in this next clip didn't take the universe's anti-douchebaggery warnings he received to heart, he probably deserves more karmic punishments. When a young car thief in Durham, England attempts to break the window of a parked vehicle, he turns the phrase banging your head against a brick wall upside down. Specifically, he brings the wall to him as the thrown brick bounces off the car window, clipping him directly in the face. After he hunches over in pain, he gets Karma's message and saunters off to rethink his awful choices. Easy as it gets. Police work isn't easy, but it can be when the criminals do the officer's work for them. In what's essentially the opposite of a high-speed pursuit, this footage captured by Ohio officers in July 2019 sees a drunk driver veering on the road. Thankfully, he's not a threat for very long and parks himself right in front of the police by slowly crashing into their bonnet. He takes a moment to realize what's going on, but when he does, his earphones are pulled out and a feeble escape is attempted. I mean, I think that's what it is. It could well be a dance move. Either way, he was charged with a DUI and the police were grateful that he inadvertently made their evening much easier. Stop right there. Sometimes karma can be a little cruel when it hands out its darkly suitable punishments. One such case from 2012 involved a young man with a deadly penchant for stop signs. Tyler A. Myers of Norwalk, Connecticut was driving around one night making other drivers' lives slightly more dangerous, but not by drunken or reckless driving. He'd been stealing stop signs and had amassed quite the collection in the back of his pickup truck from his night's adventures. But for every stop sign he stole, it seems he ignored many others, driving straight past them without any regard for their purpose. If he'd stopped at one sign in particular, whether to obey it or just to steal it, it would have had profound effects that he'd probably never even have noticed. But he chose to drive straight out, past that one stop sign, right into the path of an oncoming truck. Unable to stop, the truck T-boned him, and with his seatbelt unfastened, Myers was killed then and there. He lived by the stop sign, and he died by the stop sign. World's toughest snowman. Some people are jerks out of anger or vengeance, but some are just jerks for the sake of it. Like people who smash up strangers' jack-o'-lanterns or destroy innocent snowmen. But in Kentucky in January 2019, one such snowman fought back. After a homeowner returned to his house to see tire marks parting the snow in his front yard, it didn't take him long to work out what had occurred in his absence. A car had purposefully driven into his yard and attempted to knock down the nine-foot-tall snowman he'd constructed earlier that day. But what the driver didn't realize until it was too late was that the homeowner had used a thick tree stump as the base of the snowman. The driver had likely crashed straight into the trunk, doing more damage to their vehicle than to the snowman. The snow giant, on the other hand, stood strong and proud as the car drove away, broken and embarrassed. Heart's not in it. 
Now, I'm in no place to say whether karma plays favorites, but cases like this certainly make you wonder. When a pastor in Garulos, Brazil was parked on a residential street in January 2019, he was surprised when a group of criminals surrounded his car. They threatened him, attempting a robbery, but when one of them pried open the driver's side door, the biggest surprise of all arrived. The robber at the door collapsed, much to the confusion of his co-conspirators, who soon fled the scene. But the collapsed thief would hold no grudges against his accomplices for abandoning him, because he was dead. It turned out he'd had a heart attack while attempting to rob the pastor and had died almost immediately. The pastor escaped with his life and his car, undoubtedly reaffirming his beliefs for life. Which of these tales of karma gone right did you enjoy the most? Do you have any karma tales of your own? Let me know in the comments section below. If your story is good enough, I might even feature it in a future video. Thanks for watching.